everybody, Jamie Pate here. Welcome to another video. And this today's video is something I haven't done for a minute, and that is a mini album. I know, and I have so many in my head that I need to get them out of my head and share them with you. So let me show you what I have in mind. Okay hey guys, here in my hot little hand is my prototype. I always like to play around with ideas and that's exactly what I did here. So this is what we're gonna make. We're gonna make this very, what I think is a pretty simple mini album. And it is basically kind of a flip book. You guys do flip books out there? This is sort of a flip book. So I'm gonna show you how to make this cover with the binding, this accordion uh, flip out here. And then just, we're just using a little clip to put that in place. And of course, yes, pockets are a must. I have stacked pockets going on here. And then another flip piece. This is made with Jen Hadfield's uh, Live and Let Grow, super pretty. And then because I am uh, documenting some Easter from last year, made this cute little Easter bunny guy. He's from the Hoppity stamp set. And then I got a lot of things going on in here. I got Hello Bloom with the florals. I have the Sunny Lane with the leaves. And then the Peeps, this is one of the second to the smallest die shapes for that buddy. I just thought it was kind of a sweet little DIY embellishment. Okay, so what do we need? Well, for the way that I'm showing this today, uh, I have down in my notes that you need four pieces of pattern paper, and I am actually going to be using three, just because it's double-sided and I can get a little bit more mileage out of that. This is new 49 and Market. It's called Tranquility, and doesn't it indeed look tranquil? This is such a very beautiful collection, and so I'm grabbing some pattern papers for that. You're also gonna need to make this particular album is a three by, nope, ah, try it again, six by 12 piece of chipboard. Hey, do you ever order uh, individual pieces of paper from scrapbook.com? They always pack them with a piece of uh, chipboard so that it doesn't bend. So this is one of those, it's a nice weight. It's not too terribly heavy. This doesn't really need a lot of heavy. So that's what you're gonna need as well as your adhesives. So the first thing we're going to need is a piece of paper that is going to actually be nine inches wide by six inches tall. Once you have your paper that's nine inches wide by six inches tall, then there are some scoring that is gonna take place. Now for my cover, excuse my voice, for my cover, I want this to be the front. So this is going to be the shorter of the score. So I'm going to come in here with the back of my cover. I want to be four and three quarters. So I'm gonna come in here at four and three quarters and then at five. And this doesn't matter if your pattern is all the same, how you score it but because I knew I wanted this to be in the front, that's why I was particular about making sure that my shorter score was here in the front. So after you get those scores in place, you're gonna be left with this front cover that is about, about four and an eighth wide, a quarter inch binding, and then a back cover that is about four and three quarters wide, because that's where we measured it at. So that's your cover. At this point, we are going to now add our chipboard covers. The thing I wanna really make sure we're being mindful of is that this quarter inch binding in the middle it don't get no cover. So make sure you keep that clear. And I will, I don't have any hints to help you with how to do that. You're just gonna have to remember if you add your chipboard into that middle section, the whole book is going to fold differently. And that's not wrong because one of the things I wanna make sure that I encourage is that once we get this cover made, uh, like all holds, bar, I don't want to bar the holds, wait. I want it to be open up to any possibility. So once you have any kind of cover, and it can be any size, right? It's just add whatever you want, add whatever flips you want, add whatever pages you want. I'm just showing you one way to go about this. Now notice I haven't cut my chipboard yet, and I just, because I wanted to be a little more precise about my 
measurements on here. So I'm kind of using the paper as my measurement. So you take your utility knife and just make sure. Uh, I don't know how much we've cut here on the channel very often with chipboard, but you know, I could be here all day doing this because I just want it to be a nice cut. I realize that I can't go through it uh, just in one fail swoop. So I'm willing to make sure that my cut is nice uh, by just going over it several times. Now, we're just gonna repeat this process on the front. And I'll probably mention this a couple times because, you know, I tend to repeat myself endlessly. But this quarter inch adhesive roll is my friend when I am building mini albums because we don't want our mini albums to fall apart. And like how many of us have had that happen, right? We've made a mini album and, you know, a couple months later or whatever, we go to pick it up and like it's falling apart. Uh, well, I've had that happen anyway. So that's just my little encouragement to you is use this quarter inch tape. Use a really strong, I mean, you can use, I know a lot of people love using a glue stick and that works. Uh, some of the craft glues are really good for um, not bubbling your paper. So we're gonna do the same thing here, lining that up with your, I just wanna get this, I have a, bit, a little bit of a straighter edge here. And, um, and you know, if it kind of comes this way, just a little, uh, more inside the page than close to the binding, you're fine. You're good with that. And then remember too, that you can always go around and sand your edges. If you have a little bit of showing, you know, just stress it up if you need to. I mean, there's ways to cover up our mistakes, right? Because what do we say? It doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. There you go. Covers made. Okay, now we're going to make the accordion that is one of our flips inside the book. And so I have now a piece of pattern paper that is 12 inches long, four inches tall. And this is the part that's going to be attached to the book itself. It won't be shown. So I'm going to start my one inch right here. So this is a one inch score. Then I'm going to go over here to a four and three quarters inch score. And then I'm gonna go over here to eight and a half. And then at that point, just like everything else we're doing so far, just go in and make um, your creases good with your bone folder as you go through here and fold this. And this is what it's gonna look like. And I liked, it was kind of an accident, but I like the way uh, this worked out where I have just a little bit of this paper. Uh, as, as this album is already doing, it is uh, showing um, at, from, the, from the front, it's showing this different patterns. I love that. I, I need to explore that more because it just makes my heart happy to have different patterns and such uh, playing together and showing themselves off. It's just, it's lovely. I love doing that. I don't know. And, you know, we're talking this girl who just did everything in black and white for years and years. Hey, you know what? You can teach a dog new tricks because I'm here to testify. So this little one inch strip is where you're going to add your adhesive. You're going to turn your book. You want to line this up just really nicely. You really don't want this chipboard showing. If it does, not the end of the world by any means. So kind of snuggy that up there as good as you can and adhere and you have your nice little flip. Okay, now we're going to add the panels to what I'm calling panels, back panel, front panel. Back panel is just a solid piece of paper. Uh, meaning it's only going to be uh, trimmed down to four and three quarters and by six inches. So that is, it's basically just the same as your back panel here. Here's my dilemma. This paper is gorgeous, but I also don't want to overpower what's going on here in my patterns. And remember I talked about how I love seeing the different patterns show through. So if I use this more plain polka dot, then I have this whole thing going on here, which is really pretty, right? If I flip it back over to the very floral side, I don't have quite as much contrast going on, but it's not ugly, right? So <laughs> I wish you guys were here so you could tell me, but I have a feeling you would vote for this. So we are going to pop this panel with the side up to the back panel.
Okay, then for this next front panel, what we're going to do is score from the inside. This is where our binding is going to be on this side, coming in three and seven eighths, which is just, it's that notch right before the four, but it's past the three quarters. And go ahead and fold that so you can see here how we now have this interactive piece that's going to sit on our front panel. All right, so I just went ahead and add that panel in. Now I have my little flip, and that's basically what the inside of your book is looking like. That right there. Okay, we have another area though that we want to cover. So using the nested pockets, you know, come on, we, we gotta like, we gotta use the heck out of these things, right? Because so good. And I'm using the second to the largest size, which actually does fit in there when you notice how that's actually going to fold. So I have two of those made already from the pattern paper and just, it's just a basic um, construction of a pocket right here where I'm folding over the, uh, my scores there. Now with the 49 and mark it, paper. It's really thick paper. I mean, it is really quality paper. So uh, when I ran my pocket through here, I, it got a little wonky. I got a little, I was just going too fast. So just take your time, line it up how you want it to be lined up. Realize it's going to take a little bit extra of a, of a rotation on your uh, die cutting machine because the paper is thick, but it makes for beautiful pockets. I mean, with this paper, you just can't go wrong, friends. You can't. So we're just putting pockets here on this middle panel right here. Okay, so I adhered this pocket to the top about an inch down from the edge. And then this one's gonna be about a quarter from the bottom edge, but I'm wanting to make sure I also line it up here with the pocket on top so that it's just overlapping it. And boy, you could go crazy doing this right here. So realize too, because again, I just mentioned the thickness of this paper, uh, you're going to need to kind of massage this. You could always come in here and give it a little bit more of a score. I'm not going to bother with that. But for all intents and purposes, our book is done. Okay, we're wrapping up our book. I love this book so much. Someone commented to me that they hope that I have as much fun as I appear to have on these videos. Oh my gosh, I think I'm actually a geek, but I'm, I'm here for the geekness. Okay, so um, I, uh, book is finished. I just wrapped some ribbon around it and I pulled out the, I know I'm not like a rabbit girl, right? Could you, could you guess that about me already? But I pulled out the peeps die. I mean, these dies are huge. Um, there's like actual beautiful opportunities with these dies, but this little tiny one's adorable. And this is the one I use for, I use it. Well, you'll see how I use it a second way inside here in a moment. But then um, these leaves, you you guessed it, yes, they're Sunny Lane. But I used, I had a, this is how it works, guys. This is literally how it works. I had a scrap of Harvest pattern paper in my box of scraps. Have you seen my little box of scraps? This is my current box of scraps that I'm working through. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that color is perfect to go with this tranquility paper and it's super um, whimsical and fun and then I, you know because this book is is all so many of my favorite people it was chilling with my peeps I just couldn't help it so it just slides off I, I don't retie this every time but it just slides off so my book got a little bulky I mean there's a surprise right and when you open it up then okay here's how I use that die again I just kept the uh, negative to it and then added some more of the sunny lane uh, leaves and then uh, Easter Blessings is also from the Hippity Hoppity 
stamp set. And I talked about the stamp set in my unboxing last month. So this is, this is coming in like a charm. Okay. So that opens up and then I have, these are all three by four photos that I have in here so far, but I just want to show you that how you could add extra. This is a great way to add like an interactive piece, even inside here, have it flip up and your journaling is on the, the other side, or you can put a tag in here. So it kind of pops up here on the front and playing peekaboo a little bit. So then, um, this is pretty much much this little front photo here is pretty much as simple as just clipping this this is a little I think it's an ideology clip and um, just clipping that if I can here we go there it is clipping that there this is also from the hippity hoppity stamp set and I just made a little notched banner from it and just pop that in there and that plenty of embellishment there. And then remember, oh, how funny. I opened it like this. I'm thinking open it like this, but I don't have my pictures here, but I have room for more pictures. But here they are. I have pictures here because it can also obviously open up that way. You got room for Adeline. Ad Adeline. Let's, let's make sure we get our Adeline on. You have room here for adding um, a larger photo because you've got plenty of room for a four by six photo here. And then also uh, journaling, you could add more pocket here. You could put pockets here. Gosh, you guys just have fun with this concept. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have something that you can take away from this and enjoy as well. And gosh, I can't wait to see you in the next video.